Psylocke of the X-Men. Oh yeah, good stuff there, good stuff there. Uh, if you're curious about her outfit, it is VTOL, of course. It's the VTOL Psylocke set. And there we go. You can see it right there. Let me make sure she has all her weaponry there with her. She's got a few items here and there, and she's got her rifle there. Ooh! We'll be able to do more uh, damage with that thing. Okay. But we did have a quest, and that quest, well, let me go ahead and find it, was to go here to take care of a scutter in Hyde Park. Very nasty place, and it's typically going to be very rainy. Filled with raiders. Scudder. It'd be neat if his name was Scuttle. Oh, that is such a wonderful outfit she's got on. Ah, that attention to detail. Absolutely amazing. The whole core idea of this character was to have her, well, aid and assist settlers in their settlements, you know, because she's a good guy. She's certainly not going to do the job of the farm girl and actually create settlements or build them up or anything like that. But Betsy Braddock is still an assassin. So she will take care of people. Four. A nice little fee. Okay, let's take a look at our arsenal here, now that we know what we're dealing with. I tried to get away with being sneaky and peaky. Let's see how that worked out. Alright, well. Try to grab what you can. Oh, man. That's never a good sight, seeing all the... Ooh, look. Lunch and dinner. <laughs> it's lunch and dinner. <laughs> Fish fry, too stuff there. Well, it's a bright day in the Commonwealth. It's always a nice thing. Is that a corpse? It's a corpse. A single dead super mutant. That's an odd find. Very odd find. Well, I guess she doesn't need to have the sword in her hand right now, does she? New University Point, she has no business going there right now, so she will continue on her way. Bounty of hub flower. Ooh, yeah. Jamaica Plain. Yeah, that's a hot spot. In case she gets a job there, let's go ahead and just avoid that area right now.
There's our target area right there. And she's approaching from this side. So. Oh, wow. It's going to stay nice and sunny for me? That's weird. She, oh, look at this. Dead dude in the toilet. This guy's got a lot of cams, too. Oh, look at that. I don't think I've ever seen this guy before. I don't think I've ever been in this building before. Okay. Well, she needs to make her way around. Oh, wait. There's an entrance over here, isn't there? Yep. There it is. Now, the chances of her not being seen are basically slim to none. Because this is a Bethesda game and this is stealth. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a moment. Oh, are you kidding me? She got in? Nice. Are you telling me that her fortunes have reversed? Oh, look at this dude. Ah, uh, she's gonna be way out now. <laughs> that dude went flying. <laughs> and quick you can trust me that sounds tempting it really does but she has questions she has trust issues come on how long are we going to be on the caution no sign of them now beautiful they let me get away with three of them though that's a shock that really is. I'm amazed. I mean, I'm already pleased with that. So that's. <laughs> Shadow. Shadows are your friends. Are you kidding me? She's doing a wonderful job right now. Look, there's the head to prove it. Wow. There's Scuttlebutt up there. Okay. You better run. Oh, she's considered hidden. Who's there? Oh, wait. Thought I saw a head. Oh, the head's right there. There you are, you bitch. Uh oh. Come on. All right, there goes that. Well, why hide now? <laughs> okay. Let's go, um, make her presence now. Oh, wait, that was stuff, wasn't it? Yeah, because there's a skill magazine over there, too, so she needs to go get that. I am absolutely satisfied with what has transpired here today. Well, being out in the open, they're probably going to see her. Well, whoever's left. There's always going to be a few. So far, I'm just so amazed at how smooth this went. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Alright, 
So where's this other guy at then? Okay, there he is. Well, he's over there. I guess he saw her through the window, maybe? What? Okay, see, here's the bad weather. This is usually what happens. That must be another level up then. Yeah, she has no need for a shotgun. And wasn't there a um No there wasn't. Okay. Well, she's going this way then. Up, oh, that's where we need to go. That was the guy that must have watched her earlier. That's what's left of old Scudder. Hey, there's the sniper rifle. Space costume helmet. Scudder, what are you into, man? What's going on here? And there's the magazine. What was it? Oh, it's a grognack. Oh, that's even better. It's a grognack. Shotgun shot? I don't think I'll ever have a shotgun, but she could use it for currency in case she needed to. That's it. Let's see what else is going on. These guys certainly like their jet, don't they? all by herself at this point. Anybody? Anybody? Nope. Looks like this job has been completed. Oh, that robot out there. Let's take a look at what we got going on so far. Data. Oh yeah, we got some jobs. We got some jobs. Just gotta get the shroud costume. And oh, the hallucinogen canister. Okay. All right. Well, since the um, bounty box is closer, let's go ahead and zap on over there and grab another job. And depending on where that's at, it'll be the it'll be between that and then going to um, Hubris Comics and grabbing the silver the silver <laughs> the silver shroud outfit for Conley. We'll see how that goes. But right now, it is time to drink some coffee. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. Or if things ever get slow, she can go to a settlement and just take whatever job they have. There we go. And where does this take us? I really enjoy the random aspect of this. Poseidon Energy. Cuddy. Poseidon Energy. Cuddy. Where the world is that? Poseidon Energy. No, that's not that place where all those ghouls hang out, is it? Oh, she leveled up. 
gotta grab the perk. Too. Yeah, we got some good ones there. Oh, okay. It's that. All right. All right. All right. All right. I know what that's at. Ooh, that is a distance. And let's go ahead and have her hang on back to, um, Yeah, Park Street Station. Let's go ahead and zap on over there. Well, I guess she is headed into Ghoul Central. Dark. Let's go ahead and have her rest. It's already been a long day. Here we go. Cryogenic grenade, huh? Well, I guess she hadn't even made a um, that cherry cola grenade. I really love that. Of course, you know I do. All right, Hubris Comics. Where in the world? Which direction was that? Okay, so not far in that way. combat zone over there so she needs to turn. Boy, did I have to get the money off this guy? Yeah, I did. Okay, now that I've got my bearings, yeah, it's right up ahead. That means she's going to have a fun filled day dealing with goos. Up close and personal too. They'll be able to sniff her out in no time at all. But all of this will put a smile on Kent's wrinkled face. And that makes it all worth it. That was quick. Is the door guards? Didn't take long at all. Locks really strong. As soon as she walked in the door, it's like, "Hello, Psylocke. How you doing?" I 
knew she'd get caught, but I didn't know it'd be that soon. Well, it just means more that she's dispatching. Ooh. She's getting her hands on a whole lot of cams. Okay, where's the door up? Oh, wait, that's um. Uh, oh, here we go. Let me lock on to the other guys in the room. There we go. That's well, insane. She hadn't even fired one shot, and they all know where she's at. These guys, man. They are sensitive. Maybe that's why they're just so unhappy. They're just, they're sensitive ghouls. Got it. And Psylocke is not being sensitive to their needs. Maybe that's it. <laughs> if that's the case, then these ghouls need to grow a pair. Well, she surprised somebody. That's that's something. I'll take it. Oh! And his star-rated friend didn't even notice. Now that was beautiful. So popular, he got a star rating. <laughs> ah! Well, dude, you got what you wanted. That's right, there's going to be memorabilia that she needs to collect too, right? Or, uh, old Kent Conley. Yeah, I guess she'll have to do that, but... This is the top floor. Yes, it is. Then she's going to go ahead and go back down here and try to find that memorabilia. And I don't really remember where it was. I will set to the ground for it. Can't see nothing in here. All right. Maybe all these guys down here on the lower level are done for at this point. I'm guessing. Because there was the, um, the script. Okay, here's the, um, what is that? The photo. And there was um, the script, the photo, and... Um, Oh, the um, the gun, the script photo and the gun, I believe. I think that was it. All right. We 
got big bad hiding there behind the um Got him. Oh, jeez, man, don't do that. That was all of them, right? I think. toilet. Nice. Pompadour wig. Very important. Let's see. Nice. Let's go ahead and grab the goods. Comics. Let's see here. Oop, no, oh, she ran the wrong way. Okay, wrong way. There we go. Oh, these cats are dead. And here's the entrance. Kent Conley, he will be so pleased. Just like I am drinking this coffee. Good stuff there. And that means we gotta zap back on over to Good Neighbor. Deliver the goods. Well, Good Neighbor's also going to have a weapons workbench where she can start working on those weapons of hers. Well, the new ones, I should say. Yeah, you noticed, of course, how stealth didn't work out as soon as she walked into that building, man. It was like, no, forget it. Wait, let me let me check her uh, perk list. She's got up to sneak four. You'd think that would hold some clout, but no. This is a Bethesda game. No. Where the game says, I know you want to sneak, right? I know you want to, but... But... Let me let you in on a little secret. That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> yeah, that's the way it goes. <laughs> I know you would like to sneak and assassinate, but uh, guess what, pal? Not on my watch. <laughs> Oh, Kent Conley. Your bright face makes it all worth it. Okay, we've got um, good neighbor just right up the road. Ooh, look at that. I wonder if she can make one of those cherry cola grenades by now. Sound of gunfire in the air. Oh, jeez. Ah. 
thought these guys were taken care of. Let's just have her sneak on away. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Sneak on away. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Okay. Oh, Mr. Conley. It's not a new one, is it? I was about to say. Oh, Mr. Conley, here we come. I'm trying to remember what point of the quest is this. It's been so long since I've done it. Because of the glitch problem. Is this the one where he says, um... Well, you gotta wear the outfit, I think. Or like, you have to... Yeah, yeah, I think that's it. Why is it giving me markers outside? Okay. And miscellaneous... We'll get to him. We'll get to him, don't worry. We will get to that dude. All in good time. Sticking around, you'll need to join a crew. I hear Bobby No Nose is looking. Always a catch with the No Nose, but she pays. Yeah, you don't want to mess with the No Nose. That's a no no. Oh, Ken Gun. What? You dry? Head over to the third. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. There's an assassin job from Whitechapel, Charlie. Yes, she's picked that up too. Oops, wrong way. Wrong way, Psylocke. There we go. Right way, Psylocke. Deacon. I think you stepped into the wrong place, sweetheart. Well, I don't care what you, don't you think. You don't look like you need the memory den. Whatever. Do you even know what we do here? I got your costume, Kent. And some other goodies you might like. There she is. Pretty as the posters. The Silver Shroud costume herself. And memorabilia, too? You're something else. Together with my gun, everything's all set. Here you go. After all these years, the Silver Shroud is born again. But... There's just one problem. I'm just not Silver Shroud material. I could be Rhett Reinhardt, or, or his butler, Jarvie Blake. But the Shroud is strong, capable. Don't sell yourself short. I got a better idea who should wear it. You up for being the Silver Shroud? You already got your own origin story and everything. What with the cryo vault and all. If I go along with this, I could use a little extra. If it'll get you to help, sure. I, I, I may be able to scrounge up a couple of things. A couple of things? All right. Looks like I get to be the Shroud. Yay. The costume and gun are yours. So you patrol good neighbor's streets, and I'll call in any crimes on my radio station. Jeez, <laughs> okay. Here's some calling cards, I guess. When you dispatch justice, leave them behind. That way, everyone knows the Silver Shroud has returned. Time to fight crime! <laughs> I love his enthusiasm. Because it's time to fight crime. Fortunately, she's already an X-Man. So she has quite a bit of a history of doing that. Man, oh man, so that means she needs to do some running around and good neighbor. And taking care of some business, too. 
Well, that's a good place to call the game here, then. She's had enough daring do for one day. Sounds good. She's going to start her career as the Silver Shroud. While doing all that, she's going to go ahead and grab some other jobs, too. Well, the one for Whitechapel, Charlie, at least. And work on her weapon. Try to make that a little better. So you guys stay cool. And we'll pick Psylocke again up at another time. Thank you for watching the show, and keep it weird out there. Later. <laughs> it's time to fight crime. Yay!